Hello and welcome to a new video from Coach and Bus Week. Today we'll be looking at the Mercedes-Benz e -Citaro. This is the very first right-hand drive demonstrator which is operating on Generation 1 battery technology. Any vehicles ordered from now on will receive Generation 2 battery technology which provides further kilowatts per hour. This vehicle weighs in at 15.3 tonnes and has a permissible growth rate of 19.5 tonnes. Vehicle sits on Continental Conti Urban HA3 275-70R 22.5 tyres. and has a length of 12.1 meters. Alcoa alloys are fitted. In terms of the exterior of the vehicle and the styling, it's very much an evolution of the previous Sotaro. Has a more futuristic look. Got a large three-pointed star there. Nice flared wheel arches. And despite the batteries, well, some of the batteries been on top of the vehicle, it doesn't look significantly taller than the diesel version. I think the rear of the vehicle has retained most of its Citaro DNA. The LED rear lights. We've got a reversing camera up there. And you've got six fans there to keep the batteries cool. Air conditioning and heater exchange units are all located on the top of the vehicle. When the vehicle is on 100% charge and there is hot air coming from the brakes, that hot air is distributed around the vehicle if you require it to be heated, saving energy. The East Taro is fitted with 12 battery modules, four of which can be located in the power bay. And they have been mounted in exactly the same place you would find the Euro 6 engine on the diesel version. There's also a charging point at the rear of the vehicle. All the orange cables are high voltage cables. Yeah. 
looking underneath the vehicle. You can see that everything's well protected. Metal plates protecting the underneath. To charge East Taro, you have the one power point there. And if you move around to the side of the vehicle, where you would normally find the diesel filler, you have another charging point here. The East Taro is driven by a ZF AVE 130 electric portal axle with electric motors in the wheel hubs. Steering on the East Taro is electric hydraulic and that unit starts to stare, hydraulic fluid. You've got Mercedes emergency braking sensor there, access to the screen wash filler point, air lines. The vehicle also comes with LED headlights, which are Heli units. Step inside the East Taro. This vehicle can seat 39 passengers with 27 standees. Once you're inside the vehicle, you do get an impression of high quality. You've got the coffered roof with LED lighting. USB charging points, nicely designed bell pushes. One clever feature of this vehicle is you can probably hear the air conditioning going at the moment. This vehicle can be preconditioned for the next day whilst it's charging. So you can have the air conditioning or saloon heating on, which runs as a separate unit, which saves power first thing in the morning. In case of emergency, the emergency exit is easily accessible and it's only a short step to the floor. The air condition on this vehicle comes out through these vents in the coving and it is also directed towards the windows. You also have opening windows which are lockable. As far as the driver is concerned they have a brilliant working environment in this vehicle. It's a large cab. We've got a grammar driver's seat, which is very comfortable. The dashboard layout is pretty much similar to the diesel version. 
obviously you've got battery information there instead of fuel information got a multi-function steering wheel handbrake situated here ignition and start there emergency stop and you've got your destination equipment and air conditioning functions up here the driver also has his own air conditioning unit just here which is very effective and you have the reversing camera which is very good multi-function steering wheel allows you to scroll through various functions on the onboard computer you've got tire pressures there your air pressure temperature of the battery is 27 degrees battery level is currently 61 percent trip data so you've got a lot of information there uh, the speedo on UK versions will have MPH on the outside of the speedo instead of the inside this gauge is showing you how much power is being used and regenerated so when you're braking the vehicle this needle will come down to show you how much regeneration you're getting when you're on the accelerator it will go in the opposite direction you've got your headlight switch here interior lighting, cab lighting along there electric cab window smooth operation gear selectors here, hazard lights, door control button and your suspension up and down and your ferry lift and your horn so overall very impressed with the cab area there's plenty of room for the driver plenty of ventilation due to the way that the cab door is customers are kept further away you can just see that orange light going on there on the A pillar that is saying there is someone on the near side of the vehicle and to be aware of it Overall impressions of the East Taro are of a high quality vehicle and if you're familiar with the previous generations of Taro it still has a very familiar feeling to it it's just an evolution of it just bringing in modern styling cues and some different materials for the interior trim But it still has a great feeling of space about it and a solid build quality.